Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to add a disk into a Dell uh, Perk 740 Mini, although I believe it's exactly the same process for the 710s and other uh, typical Dell and for that matter other RAID controllers in general, Intel controllers and so on and so forth. Uh, what we've got here is a, a 5 terabyte disk that I have uh, in uh, this, in this particular case, the server is a Dell uh, PowerEdge 640. And um, I've just got a five terabyte SATA spinning disk, and I just use it as scratch space, just dump space. But I need to put something on it that's more important, so I would need to add it, uh, add a second disk in and make it RAID. So let's show you how to do that and show you uh, what happens, you know, if the data gets deleted or not, when you do that. By the way, it doesn't get deleted, but let's go through the process so you follow it. So the first thing you want to do is go purchase uh, your disk. It needs to be identical to the disk that you, well it doesn't have to be identical, but it really should be identical to the to uh, the uh, disk you have in your uh, in the system currently. The second thing you'll need if you don't already have one is a uh, disk caddy which is just the hot swap which again it's an assumption that you're using hot swap but most people do. Well let's go into server manager and we'll show you how to find out uh, what, the what the existing disk is so you can match it. So here we go. Um, now you can drill into this and you can go into st storage and you can go into physical disks and it will show you what's there. So what I have is I need to match this disk which is a Seagate. That's the exact model there. Um, you can knock that off uh, and simply search for that which I did and I found mine on Amazon. Um, and I've now plugged it in. There it is. I have the same disk. So I now need to take this particular disk which is at uh, RAID 0 and which is uh, technically a stripe, but it's just a single disk, so there's nothing there. And I need to turn it into a RAID 1, so let's do that. So let's drill into virtual disks, and uh, I'm looking at my cleverly named 5 terabyte spinning disk uh, garbage space here, and I'm going to go to reconfigure and execute, and I want to add in the other spare disk, which is a matching 5 terabyte disk, and let's click continue. And I want to make it a RAID 1, and the maximum size will be what it is now, uh, 4657, uh, about 5 terabyte. Click continue and it says, please verify the operating system and any updates, include notifications, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to proceed? You betcha. Let's launch file manager so you can see what's on that disk. And finish. And you can see it's reconstructing. Have I lost the disk yet? I have not. Have I lost the disk yet? Nope. The disk is still there. So changing from RAID 0 to RAID 1 does not blow up the disk. Uh, and I can expand it. I found this lovely article from Dell explaining uh, the different RAID levels and whether they can be expanded and the maximum number of disks, minimum number of disks, so on and so forth. You might find it handy. I'll put a link on the site for this. Uh, and that's really it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.